Mind.co.uk. Just wanted to put up a, a quick and simple video of something that caught me out um, this week while I was setting up a new development environment. Um, I wanted to use Auth uh, Windows Authentication with IS7 on Server 2008, as I've done a million times on Server 2003, um, simply just by deleting the credential of the, of the uh, our user account. Um, however, on Server 2008, this is this is not the case. Um, I fumbled around for a while, um, and then it struck me that IS7 contains a lot more optional uh, install components than Server 2003. Um, so I thought I'd post this video um, just showing you how to configure it um, on Windows Server 2008. Okay, before I get started configuring uh, Windows Authentication, um, I just want to show you the authentication settings that um, are already configured um, on my instance of IIS. Um, so to do that, I'm just going to open uh, the IIS Manager. Um, and just expand the server instance um, and the sites, just so you can see the default website. Now, over on the right, you can see the um, features of this particular website. Um, the one I'm interested in is um, authentication, so I'm just going to double click um, authentication. Um, and as you can see, the only option that I have is uh, anonymous authentication, uh, which is enabled and allows people to browse um, to the website on the on this machine. If I, if I right click the, uh, the website, um, manage website and go to browse, um, we should open Internet Explorer and we should see the um, IIS um, splash page um, which is accessible to everyone on my network. Uh, for my development and testing I only wanted a specific group of users to be able to access this website um, and I wanted IIS to prompt for a username and password to be entered um, before they could see that website. In order to uh, configure this, we need to open up the server manager and expand the roles section. The only role that um, I have installed on this machine is the IIS web server role. And once that uh, just takes a couple of seconds to populate. Okay, by right clicking on the web server role, I have the option to either add a role service or remove a role service. Um, now, in this instance, I'm interested in adding the uh, Windows authentication um, service, so I'm just going to click Add Role. Uh, once I've done that, I'm presented with uh, a list of all the available um, services that I can add to my IIS instance. Now, um, obviously, the one we're after is Windows authentication. Um, just lives sort of halfway down under the security. That's actually the second one down, so I'm just going to put a tick next to that. Um, and I'm happy with, with I'm just going to install Windows Authentication um, so I'm going to click Next. Uh, now I'm presented with a summary just of, of the changes I'm going to make um, if you're happy with those you can then click Install um, and hopefully this should uh, pop off and install um, the Windows Authentication. Now the installation is completed the installer confirms um, that the installation was successful um, if yours hasn't been successful, you may want to check out your logs to find out why it wasn't uh, and resolve these issues before you continue. Um, as mine has been successful, uh, I can click close on the wizard uh, and continue to configure IIS um, with Windows Authentication. In order for uh, IIS to pick up the new service, we just need to close the um, IIS manager that I already have hope already have open, um, and just reopen that. Now, this time, if I expand the um, web server to the default um, website um, and click on the authentication, uh, we should see that um, we have an additional uh, authentication option this time. There we go, so now you can see um, we have both anonymous authentication and Windows authentication. Um, as you can see, um, anonymous authentication is enabled um, and Windows authentication is disabled. So let's first just disable uh, anonymous authentication by right clicking and selecting disable uh, and then doing the same for Windows authentication uh, and clicking enable. Just for completeness, I'm going to give the uh, website a uh, restart 
and I'm going to open up uh, Internet Explorer uh, and just uh, browse to the um, local host address. Uh, just one two one two seven dot naught dot naught dot one. Um, and now this time um, Internet Explorer or IIS is asking for um, some user credentials in order for me to access that site. Just pop those in. This is actually the uh, administrator account of the uh, machine that we're actually working on uh, and hopefully we should see the IIS banner. Um, I hope this video has been useful and thanks for watching.